well, guys, we have our, oh, it's not good when you find big, fat, jumping spiders in your caterpillar container. <laughs> you guys get killed every time. All right. Um, this is our, what are they called? Red and Baccarat. Red and Baccarat. Red and Baccarat. Um, caterpillars, our, this is our Jamaican caper leaf rollers and what we're going to do is we are going to see where we're at with these guys because when I look in the container I see a whole lot of frass so they're eating and eating which is good um, and we're going to change this out but before we do we got to make sure we're not throwing out any caterpillars that might be in the bottom here crawling around you always make sure you look underneath, make sure there's no caterpillars underneath the paper towel. Like sometimes they'll go and pupate underneath the paper towel. And it's always good to just take a look. So, especially when it's a new species and you have no idea about how they act. Okay, so I've got my clean, clean paper towel. I'm gonna fold it into the right shape here. Get my new liner down here in the bottom. Okay, now let's look and see where our little guys are. And here's here's number one. We've got this nice little tent that's made here out of a leaf. It's got all that is frass or poop that it uses to cover the leaf with. All right, so this is a smaller one, guys. And it's cool because this one must have come in off of the plant from my yard because I didn't have any, any of them that small from the ones I plucked from, uh, from the place where I found this caterpillar. So this that means that they're in my on the plant in my yard too. And this one came in off of that plant. So let's go see what else we can find. Oh, let me show you this. So you can see how the inside of the caper leaf is what they're eating. And see how the smaller caterpillars will actually scrape the, the green flesh off of the top of the leaf and leave the kind of like the little I don't know, whatever it's called underneath this little shell of the leaf. All right, so we got one, two. All right, there we got one here that we're gonna, I'm gonna open this up real quick and see how this guy's doing. This should be a bigger one. Oh yeah, look at that big boy. Looks like you're okay, yep, he's fine. Okay, go back to sleep. This is weird because they're just, this could be a, yeah, this could be a cocoon, guys. Yep. All right, so I'm going to be really careful right now because right there, this guy's making his pupa and I don't want to disturb him. I already ripped his little housing open, but uh, that's really cool because now we know we're going to definitely get at least one through its life cycle. And we're going to hopefully see a moth here in the next week or two. So um, I'm just going to put this whole container really gently back inside like that. And put the lid on. And we are going to wait another few days and we will get it going from there. We're going to show you guys what's up in a few days. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, we have our little uh, caper leaf roller, red and baccarat larvae that are pupating. And that's exciting because whenever we get to do this, we get to... Uh, document a new life cycle and can't wait to publish it. And by the way, we're going to publish some of these 
articles on these life cycles in the Southern Lepidoptera Society newsletter. And if you want to get some of that information and be part of a really cool organization, you can sign up for the Southern Lepidoptera Society. Uh, the link to their website is in my description. If you click that link, you can go on their website and fill out the form to become a member. It's like 30 bucks a year. And you can, you'll get four newsletters a year. Plus, you'll get invited to a, a annual meeting uh, where you get to meet some really cool people that study butterflies and moths and uh, take it to the next level. Actually, a couple levels uh, higher. But uh, I super, I'm super glad that I'm part of the Southern Lepidopter Society um, because we get to meet people that study cool critters like this. So, uh, guys, hope you liked the video. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and um, check out our next video on the caper leaf roller as we show you the life cycle of this cool little tropical moth. Till next time, guys, take care. Now let's get out there and find some bugs. Bye now.